Hello and welcome to the NFL Sunday Slate Breakdown video. I'm your host for Lions.com, Matthew Motto, joined here by my three lovely co-hosts, Jacob Lane, Patrick Monin, and Jason Gilbo. Green Bay Packers at Minnesota. Minnesota one half point home dogs. I'll go last on this one because I don't want to talk about it. Jason, you can go first. Um, <laughs> I, I never love betting against Rodgers, like, regardless of the situation. I think there's, there is so much hype around Minnesota this year. Like, just so much. I, I picked him as a potential Super Bowl threat because I love the value. Um, I, I think I just might be on the over here. I, 47 seems pretty low. Um, these teams traditionally just combine for these massive shootouts, and I kind of like it. I know the Vikings are really, th- or the, the Packers are obviously really thin at the wide receiver position, and it might be even worse with Alan Lazard out. Um, so, like, give me a lot of the A.J. Dillon and, and Aaron Jones props for this game because I think they're obviously going to have a ton of work in the offense. Uh, so I do like that. But I think we can also point towards the Vikings and, you know, the offensive scheme that we expect from them this year to be a little bit more pressing, a little bit more pass-oriented. And that's a plus. Um, I think the Packers' defense is obviously good, but the Vikings have just had no real worries of kind of putting up points against them. So for me, I... I think this game ends up being a little bit more high scoring than people expect with kind of the off season stuff. So I think you're getting a pretty decent bargain. Otherwise, though, I do I'm, I would put some money on the Vikings money line for sure. Yeah, Patrick, you go next. Yeah, I like the Packers in this one. Um, I think the the Vikings they do have the advantage of wide receiver. But I think too much has been made out of the Packers woes at wide receiver like I think they will be fine there and outside of that I think you could say they're as good if not better at almost any other position and I think that offensive line is going to be fully healthy for the first time since what 2019 2020 with at the, at the tackle position with um Bakhtiari and Jenkins so I I like Green Bay in this game I I don't really have much of an opinion on the over under because they do have a propensity for shootouts in these ones but I feel like when I look at it, what really jumps out to me is I like, I feel like both defense are just solid across the board. So I'm, I'm not going to touch it, but I like the Packers just because I think they're going to be able to pound the ball. And I think people are, they've, they've bought into the, oh, Devontae Adams left. Well, they'll be able, you know, plug and play, like they'll be fine. Jacob, before uh, your internet goes out again, go ahead. It's a heat wave. Yeah. I popped on my hotspot. So hope. hope Hopefully, hopefully we're doing okay now. Um, yeah, two things. So, I think the return of Jerry Alexander gives him a much better chance to guard Justin Jefferson in this game. Not stop him completely, but at least slow him down enough. And then, the Vikings' run defense was 25th in DVOA last year. They added a couple pieces, but it's not going to be fully fixed right away. And I think the Packers will be able to run the ball with Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon behind a really, really Yeah, that's my biggest line. concern as a Vikings fan, is the Packers' run game. I actually think... The pass rush was actually there last year. Um, it's going to be there this year. I think the secondary is an improved. So I think Aaron Rodgers is going to not struggle in this game, but he's not going to be as dominant as he could be. I do think the Packers are going to run the ball very, very, very efficiently. Um, with all that said, I'm not going to make a pick because if I do, it's going to curse the Vikings and they won't be able to win week one. So I'm going to continue to not do it. I'll go with Jason. I'll go with the over 47. I think... The Packers will find their groove on the ground. I think the Vikings will find their groove with a mixture of ground and pass. I think this will be very reminiscent of last year's game between the two where I think the final score is something like 33-27 or something like that. I I see this going to be a very high-scoring game. They've tended to be high-scoring games when weather isn't a factor in Green Bay uh, the past couple of years, and I think that trend continues because these are two very, very, very talented offenses. Um, And defenses that are... On the up and up, but I think still don't match where the two offenses are. So, let's... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Jacob. One one player probably I want to shout out quickly is Adam Thielen. Anytime touchdown score. The dude is a touchdown machine, and I, I just I think he's continued to be over, undervalued. He's at plus 185 to score a touchdown in this game. Packers defense will be keying in on Justin Jefferson as much as possible, and I think Thielen has a pretty solid game here. No, oh, I'm with you. Is there a game with more anytime touchdown value than this one because like looking at these numbers i don't think there actually is no it's it's because 
there's another one no, I really can, like. I just I didn't want to. I keep going in and out, but let, go back. Go ahead. Because I th I think this goes with where Jason and I are at, where we think this is a high-scoring game that over-unders at 47. So then all these touchdown score props are more in line with a low-scoring game. It just doesn't make sense. What's the other one, Jacob? So the other one I want to shout out quickly is yeah. Robert Tunyon at plus 235. Um, he missed it like most of last season, but the year before he scored 11 times. Alan Lazard might miss this game. We're not totally sure yet with the foot injury, but Adams out, obviously. MVS out. A lot of re the red zone weapons from last year not there. So Tunyon, I think, is going to be potentially Rodgers' top target in the red zone in this game. I, th I think that's right, a really so nice to, value. On yeah, that, that was the other one that popped up. To recap, we got over 47 Green Bay minus one and a half for Jacob. Uh, Patrick, were you? Green? Did, did Patrick? Did I skip you, Patrick? No, right? Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. Green Bay, baby. Okay, that's what. Oh yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> mad at you. I forgot. We, we. Jacob going in and out all the time is it's messing with my flow. I blame him. Uh, Adam Thielen anytime score one eighty five. Tanya in plus two thirty five anytime score. So. It's going to wrap it up for that one. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like. If you did not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets from the Sunday slate. Subscribe if you haven't and you're interested in seeing more. We're going to see you for the next one very soon.